Hi everybody, I hope you guys have been able to navigate through this bipolar market and in this video we're going to show you how using time is more important than actual price and I'll explain this a little bit more uh, as I go on. But anybody that does not know Woody Dorsey, uh, he has been helping some of the f largest financial institutions in the world for over 35 years. He's considered by many as the investor sentiment uh, master and also one of the best market timers in the world. Uh, the USA Today actually has quoted him as uh, the Wall Street stock market shrank. Uh, so he's been on every financial news media there is and he is like I said one of the best there is in the world so what I want to go over is how to use time with your your trading and how it, it's gonna increase your profits and increase your 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 confidence and honestly change the way you look at the markets so in this newsletter this was going back in our uh, our August 19th newsletter and in this, Woody had said that we were looking for some type of top on uh, August 25th and then a secondary top on the 20th. So the 19th, you knew that during these time periods, this is when things were going to start topping out. If we take a look at the chart, this is what was going on there. This is the 19th. And once we got into the 25th to the to September 20th, this is that, re this is that red, red rectangle here. You can see straight up 100 points. And from there, things got choppy. And once we hit the, the 20th, the, it came in on the 18th we saw a massive drop that was one of the largest that the S&P had seen in years and Woody had been predicting that this was going to be a black hole event and this was the black hole event and so as everybody was just sitting there saying that you just have to jump into this market because it's not going down central banks aren't going to let it down you would have known with confidence that we were marking some type of top and it was going to be a major top uh, right here, let's say major intermediate term top because that's all we focus on. We don't look at the big picture. We're looking at the moves that are that are big. They're swing trades, so we're not looking at these little kind of gyrations. The moves that are our sentiment timing index uh, spits out to Woody are big moves. So we're looking at least hundred point moves, sometimes two hundred, sometimes more than that. And and that's really what what the this timing uh, newsletter is all about. It's when to take advantage of the big swing trades. So this was your top. We knew you know you knew here as everyone was saying that the S and P was heading higher. You had to get in. You would have known with confidence from one of the best market timers in the world that you don't want to follow them. You want to be looking on the short side or getting out of your longs. And that's exactly what happened. So. I'm going to show you the same chart, but I have more colored boxes in here. Now, this was the top that we called for for the uh, the the black hole event, and that happened here. What this green box here is when the expected low was. So you had everybody that was looking at this support level to hold. You had the moving average. Once that broke, you had everybody that was running for the hills. There wasn't a person out there that wasn't predicting that the S&P was going to go down another 100 or 200 points. And you would have known with confidence that this was the low. We are at support and this is the low date. So let's go to the actual report that showed it. And this is on September 25th. You can see that he had uh, what he had said that it doesn't look like a buy the dip uh, type move, and that was, that's when the big drop had uh, started, and that negative price magnet was due into the uh, October 13th time frame. So you knew here when this drop started, this was that newsletter that the low wasn't coming in till here, and this was all t you you knew this well in advance when this actual low was coming. So once we got to these levels, you could have been buying here. And and even if you bought a little bit early, you still made a ton of money because look at the size of the move that happened. So this red box, this was when the topping was. So now everybody, once we took out this support, uh, this resistance, everybody was shooting for the moon saying that the S&P was heading to 2300, 2400. Just buy. It's not stopping. You would have known, again, with confidence that we were actually forming a topping pattern here and a drop was going to happen well the S&P dropped 100 points everybody was throwing this Santa rally out and uh, 
it, we, we had said from the beginning of this drop that this was not the top and that this was just a, a little pullback before the next move, uh, the, the next uh, push higher into the year end. So the blue is here because we were actually looking for this low to happen on the 22nd and it came in on the 18th. But you knew that this was not the top. That, that was the main part on that. And as we took out these highs, everybody was, again, giving your 2,300, 2,400 target on the S&P. You knew right here with confidence that we are heading down, and that's exactly what happened. So the whole point that I'm making is the time part that you knew once we got into these time periods of, of a top or a bottom that you just start looking for your low and you start or, or a top up here and a low down here to be buying and you don't have to be exact you could layer in because the thing is is that you just know that once we're in this area it's going to start to probably stall or go sideways but the next move is going to be higher so i have the green here because we have an expected uh, low due on the 15th now we have uh, a couple other dates that are also in place so don't go out and start buying everything tomorrow because we have a zone that we're, we're looking to buy into and uh, I don't have those on here but the thing is is that you don't want to be getting aggressively short right now and and even if the S&P drops another let, let's say 50 points the thing is time wise you want to be buying down here not shorting you wanted to be shorting up here you wanted to short this big rally here because everyone was looking up again and we put out that the lows were not in place yet and that was on the 7th and sure enough we came and took these lows out again knowing when the low is coming will give you that confidence to be able to to start buying when we're going to when you're expecting some type of uh, turn to the upside and shorting when you're expecting some kind of turn to the downside. So again, this is going back to December 23rd. You knew that we were going to have some downward pressure all the way into January 15th. Guess what tomorrow is? January 15th. So to say that this was the 23rd, I think right here Knowing that the low was going to be here, that's, you know, pretty good uh, predictions if you ask me. So here is the sentiment chart that, that Woody follows. And what we're doing is we're matching it up right now with the expected turn date zone. So here is our turn date zone. You can see sentiment is getting very, very bearish right now. Every Nobody's looking up. Guess what? It's all matching up for a turn higher. It's probably going to hit on one of our turn dates that we mentioned in our last report. And once that hits, you're going to see everybody turn bullish again. And once that happens, it's probably going to be ready to go short. So if you just concentrate on, on trading these big, huge moves that are going to be lasting anywhere from two to six weeks, you can make a fortune instead of waiting for the big picture where everyone's looking for 2400 And I have these boxes here because from July 4, uh, 2014, today's lows actually match them so everybody that was saying you have to just buy you have to buy all the way from july they're even right now and they went through some massive massive stress on it if you traded each one of these moves you're you're up a fortune and that's really what this newsletter does it's give it telling you when you should be able to buy or sell and and you're able to do this with confidence because you have one of the best market timers in the world telling you when this is uh going to take place and then we have sentiment that is then backing up where these turns should uh, play out. So if you're ready to take control of your trades and, and start trading with more confidence than you ever had before, knowing exactly when the turn is going to happen, then you can join or you can get our next sentiment timing uh, newsletter for free. You'll actually know exactly when the next uh, top is supposed to be. And all you have to do is click on the link below and... That's about all I have for tonight, so have a great night and good luck with your trades.